Germany remains a top destination for skilled workers from abroad, despite many reporting racism and discrimination in everyday life. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development tracked 30,000 workers wanting to come to Germany over the last 18 months and found them keener than ever to make the move. But it's not all straightforward. Political factors and hurdles such as the complex immigration system deter many potential incomers. German Federal President Steinmeier and Labor Minister Heil on a promotional tour in Vietnam. The goal? Skilled workers. Easier said than done these days. There is heavy competition from other countries and Germany's current image problem is not helping either. We need clever heads and helping hands in Germany, and therefore open-mindedness. And that's why we oppose all forms of racism. The right-wing populists in Germany are damaging our country, not least economically. The two countries want to cooperate even more closely on migration issues in the future. Heil and his Vietnamese counterpart signed an agreement to this effect. Germany is not unpopular in Vietnam. Many Vietnamese have family or friends in the Federal Republic. Over 200,000 people with a Vietnamese background currently live and work there. But it's the rise of the far right in Germany that worries recruiters. The current situation is cause for reflection. It is a difficult situation for society as a whole, not just for our sector. So it is very important for us to prepare students, trainees and skilled workers that they understand fully what is happening at the moment. Countries like Vietnam are important for Germany's efforts. Recruiting agencies in the Southeast Asian countries specialize in the catering, healthcare and nursing sectors, areas in which there are particular shortages in the German labor market. But the German government's search is also turning to countries that have been more closely associated with refugee or asylum issues in recent times. In Morocco, Development Minister Schulze is busy presenting Germany as a cosmopolitan country to convince electricians and hotel and restaurant employees in particular. Commenting on current reports of xenophobic groups with secret deportation plans, Schulze says this is not Germany. What you heard there is not what the majority of people in Germany think. She has the support of the Moroccan Minister of Employment. And we know uh, from the experience that you have a very welcoming country and a very open society uh, and uh, no one can tell the opposite. Despite the warm words, a recent study in Germany found that two out of three skilled workers from non-European countries have faced discrimination. And for a country that needs at least 400,000 newcomers every year, xenophobia only makes the task harder. Thomas Liebig from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development ran the study we just referenced. He told me more about its findings. I think one thing that's clear is that Germany wants to attract foreign talent and is very uh, uh, is, is undertaking a lot of impressive steps uh, to attract these people. That includes not only the legislation, but also a lot of the initiatives that have been taken in cooperation with origin countries uh, and other steps. So that is that's, that is beyond beyond doubt. Whether they will manage to get 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, that, uh, that, that is a different question. And it will a lot mm -hmm. will depend on the, the infrastructure that Germany uh, has in place. Right now, uh, that has, uh, our study has, has shown that uh, there's a lot still to be desired on that end. Notably, in some of the key origin countries, uh, there's complaints that the, that the process are pretty slow, not digitalized yet. Um, so there's a lot more to be done in terms of making sure that these that this openness that is in the law in the immigration law for skilled mm. labor migrants uh, from abroad uh, that this is also put in practice uh, for the people for the many people who seek to come to Germany and to have qualifications that are sought upon in the German labor market. Right. Our report touched on concerns among would-be immigrants about the rise of Germany's far right. What does your research tell us? Has this discouraged workers from coming? 
it has not really discouraged people yet. Um, but what we see is that people who have arrived in Germany report pretty high levels of perceived discrimination and uh, and and mistreatment um, you know, on the street in shops uh, and especially on the housing market. Um, that doesn't mean that actually they have been mistreated. It's just a perception that they have, perhaps also because of some of the debates that are going on in Germany. Um, but at the same time, we also observe that people are generally happy uh, with a life in Germany and that they are also uh, think um, that they are happy with the German mentality and culture. So it's really pretty much a mixed picture, but mm. certainly the issue of discrimination and racism is something to watch out for and to address uh, uh, urgently. What other deterrents did your study identify? Well, the number one obstacle uh, certainly is to put in touch the talent abroad that wants to come to Germany and the German employers. Um, neither one really knows how to meet to meet the others, and uh, there needs to be a little more, little more investment and thought into into that matching process between potential talent from abroad uh, and and employers. Part of that will be overcome through this new chance uh, a chance visa that Germany is implementing, which allows qualified people from abroad under certain conditions to come to Germany, even if they don't have a job offer. So that will be a great improvement on, on that end. Mm. But once again, uh, it's important that this is also well implemented by the consulates and visa offices abroad. And also a third element that's very important also to transmit to, to the audience here is that if you want to come to Germany, it is very important to learn German. Um, uh, and we see in our candidates that there's a great willingness to do that. Uh, and, and there certainly needs to be more investment also by Germany to, to, to support that German language learning abroad. That means Got it. to open up new Goethe centers rather than closing existing ones. Yeah, that is uh, Thomas Liebig of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Many thanks to you, sir.